Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ariana Medix sure knows how to make an entry. On a new episode of Affection Island USA, the show's host, 38, showed up at the estate wearing a semi-transparent, dark bodysuit with a plunging neck area from Laquan Smith that she matched with unsettled classic robe. She finished the explanation-making look, a variant of which was recently seen on Megan Fox, with Simon G. and Gemma Azero Gems, as well as strappy dark Steve Infuriate heels and streaming light hair. Obviously, when Madix posted her sluggish movement swagger to Instagram, the positive remarks immediately came flooding in, with many sharing stunned GIFs and fiery emoticons. This show is about how hot Ariana is, like I don't even know who else is on it, one fan kidded, while different individuals picked to make digs at Madix's swindling ex, Tom Sandoval. Tom Sandoval is punching the air at the present time. Somebody composed, as someone else referred to Sandoval, saying Medix would wear a shirt at whatever point they were close. She's not wearing a shirt now, pal, haha. <laughs> Yet, while the Vanderpump Rules star's outfit was generally a hit, with some in any event, saying her beautician Emily Min needs a raise, a small bunch of remarks were pessimistic, with individuals going after Medix's body. She wants to chip away her legs. One individual composed, inciting the sandwich retailer Fireback. I work on my provocative ass legs consistently, she said accordingly. I'd snap your neck with my thighs, however, I won't ever allow you to sufficiently close to contact me. At the point when someone else composed something almost identical, telling Medix she ought to practice those legs. The Chicago star remarked, impolitely, have you seen yourself? Most would agree the truth lady isn't simply ablaze in the remarks segment. She's been carrying her A-game with her Affection Island USA outfits, venturing out in one dazzling care for the following. For the show's season debut, she shook a wet-looking, metallic depesta outfit and directed a mermaid with wavy hair. This show is about how hot Ariana is, like I don't even know who else is on it, one fan remarked, while one more said, as of now, I simply check out, see what Ariana wears straight away. Lisa Baby, Vanderpump she won't responded to Kristen Doubt recommending her girl Pandora Sabo's pronunciation is phony while showing up on a digital recording on Tuesday. As she likewise dished on Vanderpump Estate, sharing her number one cast part and tending to the Hulu series possible second season, the genuine housewives of Beverly Slopes alum, 63, applauded back at Kristen, 41, shared her considerations on the charges against Andy Cohen, 56, and concealed Jax Taylor, 44. Pandy's English, she's somewhat befuddled, Lisa said of Kristen on the June 18 episode of Not Then Yet Not Fat. All things considered, Lisa noticed that Pandora, in some cases, sounds more American. The main thing I figure she could do is placed on a tad of an American pronunciation when she's with her American companions. Lisa made sense of. She went to class in the south of France for a long time. She was in America till she was eight and afterward, she returned to America when she was 19. Furthermore, her folks are English. The two of them have an English intonation. She gets everything contorted, Kristen. As to charges against Andy, which have included Brandy Glenville's inappropriate behavior claims and Leah McSweeney's idea that she was forced to backslide on the genuine housewives of New York City, Lisa said she didn't trust any of them. I'm a major promoter of Andy Cohen. I love him. What's more, I was extremely angry pretty much this large number of allegations coming against him. She made sense of. At the point when she was then gotten some information about Kristen getting muddled on the valley, Lisa, who creates the show, said she anticipated her too. The fact that she's on the show fulfills me. 
I'm happy that she's acting naturally, she conceded. Concerning claims that she never loved Kristen, Lisa called attention to that it was exceptionally great of her to put Kristen on Vanderpump Rules. I was exceptionally good to her to put her on my show. I carried the gathering to the projecting. She was essential for the gathering. However, I generally felt Kristen was directly in the center of all that and gotten a kick out of the chance to make some waves. Indeed, even as a server, she would make things more confounded than it was. That is the very thing I could do without. However, I didn't disdain her, she explained. I realized she was essential for that companion gathering, and I believed that her should be essential for the cast. As Siphon Rules fans understand, the show started in Lisa's West Hollywood eatery, S.U.R., and almost each and every individual who is highlighted on the series worked there eventually in time. North of 10 years after the fact, a significant part of the gathering has continued on and begun families. Furthermore, with regards to potential SUR returns, Lisa isn't ready for everybody getting back to work at her eatery. Lala Kent, Tom Schwartz, not Kristen, not Jax, she said of who she would and wouldn't need back. While Lisa's little girl has showed up on her shows now and again, Lisa said Pandora could never need to continue in her existence star strides. Gracious God, no, she wouldn't, Lisa affirmed. She's a greater amount of the mother in our relationship, very shrewd, reprimands me constantly. At the point when Vanderpump Estate was referenced, Lisa said her most loved castmate is Marciano Brunette, 31, who is so beguiling, and said she can't reply whether they'll have a subsequent season. Yep, I think they cherished it, she added. Forging ahead the web recording, Lisa tended to expected limits, saying, I don't have many second thoughts. I attempt to carry on with my existence with humor and elegance an attempt Lisa to settle Vanderpump on the best is commending choices. Tom Schwartz. In a Vanderpump Rules world where the Bravo Birdie struggles with earning regard from a jury of his friends, his previous supervisor is showering him with acclaim. Siphon Rules watchers will review Pal Schwartz's prominence experienced a plunge as a substitute of his dearest companion's issue. His co-stars scrutinized his devotion to Tom Sandoval, the Schwartz and Sandy's co-proprietor is as yet being scrutinized by his now ex, Katie Maloney. Furthermore, his apparently heatless hurl with Joe Winberg likewise had previous fans leaving him. Yet, the popular restaurateur is immovably in his corner, and she made sense of why during a new digital recording interview. Lisa showed up on the June 18 episode of the Not Thin However Not Fat digital broadcast. She was approached to pick which bar of her protégés she might most want to invest energy in. The choices were Sandoval and Schwartz's appropriately named restaurant, Schwartz and Sandy's, Jax Taylor's as of late opened bar, Jax's Studio City, and the something about her sandwich shop, which is co-possessed by Vanderpump Rules, stars Ariana Minix and Katie. All things considered, I love Schwartz, she said. I ate with him the week before. I expect Schwartz that he reaches a place where he can really get out whatever he's reasoning and do what he should manage without stressing over any other person. He's actual brilliant, and he's eloquent also. It's an alternate interpretation of the unscripted television star whose most brutal pundit is Katie. LVP likes to assume he's on the cusp of some private renaissance, where he might have the option to put himself and his necessities first for once. With respect to his diner, Schwartz and Sandy's, business is working on after a public blacklist following Sandoval's undertaking. The cafe was hit with unfortunate audits and low participation. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.